Apocalypse Road is a board game about a post-apocalyptic dystopia where people amuse themselves by racing stock cars with guns and rocket launchers. We're going to rebox it here today, as only we can, on Legendary Tactics. Apocalypse Road got on my radar somehow. I don't remember how I heard about it, but uh, I decided to uh, get a copy and uh, I'm going to show you the components here today as we rebox things. Um, these cards are the movement event cards. They are what happen if you drive a little bit too fast um, or a little bit rough. Uh, you can uh, damage your car, you can damage other cars. Um, it, uh, it's a fun mechanic that adds a little bit of unpredictability to an uh, already chaotic game. Um, gonna store the cards back in the shrink wrap. Um, I like to do that to keep them uh, dust free. So just seal that up there, just press really hard and the shrink wrap will go right back on. Um, after that, we're gonna put those back in the box and then we're going to take a look at the combat cards. And uh, these are uh, cards that determine whether you hit another car with your weapon um, and how much damage it does. And that includes uh, ramming. Uh, as well, which is a, a key component of the game and uh, quite deadly. There's a few uh, movement event cards there that um, needed to uh, be added just so that everything was snug in uh, the shrink wrap. So we'll put that back. And then next up, we have the heart of the game, the race cards. And these ones are all about um, the movement and how uh, the the cars uh, move together. Uh, you can push cars along with you. You can pull cars along with you. It's a really neat mechanic. I was a bit uh, concerned when I read about it uh, in a description that whether I was going to find it intuitive. It, it actually works really well, and it's uh, it's a very intuitive mechanic once you uh, get. Uh, a handle on it. So that's the, the first half of that deck. There's a bunch of these cards and there's a lot of them, um, but uh, uh, they are, um, as I said, the heart of the game. And yeah, there isn't a lot of strategy to this game, but if there is, it would be in how you play your, um, your race cards your, and how you move your cars around the track. Uh, basically, you win the game by destroying other cars for victory points and getting uh, cars uh, across the finish line for victory points. Um, that is if you can uh, <laughs> if you can stay uh, alive long enough. Um, there are four tracks that are provided in the game on two double-sided uh, mounted map boards. And this is what they look like. They uh, um, each have uh, kind of a, they're all a different character. They may look the same here on the map, but when you actually play them, they feel really different um, as you're playing them. And it, uh, even though they have the same uh, common parts of them, they've got the, the rough uh, part of the track, another part of the, the track that's called the jump, and um, so forth. It's uh, it, each track has the same uh, parts to it, but um, but they they do feel very differently um, when you're playing them. And one of the things I've always liked about GMT is they provide little baggies for the mounted boards. Uh, it seems a bit like overkill, but I do like that uh, aspect. So we're going to put that board back, and here's a glimpse at the uh, the other board here, so you can see um, the, uh, the the track. Um, the artwork is quite good, and uh, there's a lot of little uh, details to enjoy there. If you like uh, good artwork, I think they did a great job. Um, I, I think if you um, outfitted this game with uh, with miniatures, I think it would look really, really great. Um, it still looks good with the, um, the cardboard counters or the cardboard units, but um, it, I think miniatures would really make it uh, would really make it shine. So um, anyway, we'll put the uh, the other board back in the Ziploc bag there to keep that uh, nice and protected. And uh, there we are. And then we'll take a look at the counters. Now there are a lot of them. Most of them are victory point counters though. So uh, it's a, a little less uh, complicated than it might look at first. Um, there's a lot of damage counters. You will need them. Um, and there's a few others uh, for spinning out and, uh, um, and, uh, and being suppressed. Um, anyway, there's the, uh, the card counter uh, car counters that I mentioned 
and uh, they're they're fine. They're very clear. They're uh, easy to uh, to play with. No problems there. Um, but I wish they, you know, having some miniatures might be cool as well. Maybe if there's a deluxe edition coming down the down the pike sometime. Anyway, we these are all the different factions. Um, all the cars are the same, um, which is fine. You got to have these things balanced. Um, and it has the uh, way to track damage and uh, just make sure you uh, know which car is which. They give a very clear number uh, sort of thing. I, it may have been neat to give a name to them, but number's fine. It works. Um, the rules are very clear and uh, very complete. No problems there. It, it actually uh, looks like there are more rules than you uh, you actually need to play. It feels very easy to learn, actually, even though the rule book is a little bit on the longer side. And uh, we'll just put the lid back on the game, and uh, then we'll um, we'll just uh, put it to, put it here. We'll get the uh, the shrink wrap on that, and we'll get it uh, properly sealed up. And uh, um, as I said, I like to store my games this way, and that way they are always uh, completely pristine whenever I break them out. Uh, to play so we're just gonna wrap it back up there give it a, a bit of a, of a press and then uh, there it is Apocalypse Road thank you so much for uh, watching this reboxing here today on Legendary Tactics